Welcome. The Let's Play Rule the Waves 2 is France, starting in 1920. This is episode 95, and you join us after an epic victory in the Eastern Atlantic off the Brittany coast, in which the Soviet Union lost three carriers, a light carrier, two battle cruisers, four heavy cruisers, and sundry minor ships. Let's have a little look to see how that's impacted the balance between us and them. So we have eight, they have one battleship, we have one battle cruiser, they have one. So we are nine to two in big gunships. In carriers, we have eight and they have still six left. And in light carriers, we have one and they have four. In cruisers, we have nine and they have 17. In light cruisers, we have five and they have three. In destroyers, we have 35 and they have 45. Um, so, grievous loss, but, you know, they're not knocked out as a navy, and they may well decide to carry on in, uh, in the fighting. I'm just noticing, just out of the corner of my eye, the naval budget. So we are on a massive 807,000. Germany 650, the Soviet Union 734, Great Britain only on 886. Britain, of course, is our ally, and we may occasionally see some of their ships pop up as well. Italy, just under 700,000. Japan, just slightly more than us. And America, pretty much almost double everybody else. Just interesting to see how the uh, financial naval balance has shifted into very equal. So France, Britain, Japan are equal in second place, about half the Americans, and then a little bit beneath us is the Soviet Union, and a little bit beneath them is Italy and Germany. Okay, so let's see if the Soviets decide to make peace. Um, or battle on. I suspect after only four months, they will battle on. So let's press that. And yeah, a cruiser battle in the North Sea. Let's accept. Um, we will attack their ships because their air bases are too far away to worry about. And let's see what we have this time. The all important time is 10 minutes till dawn so that's a nice time it is um june in these northerly latitudes and so the night time is very short and our order of battle looks like this so we have a battle division with uh, Liberté and Democracy. We have some cruisers escorting them, a couple of light cruisers, a carrier, a couple more light cruisers, another carrier, and a couple of older heavy cruisers. So very much a sort of mixed force. There is a, a support force down here with the Dauphin, so I suspect that's them. No, that's the Liberté. Uh, so let me just zoom into this northern force and see who they are. Okay, so they're the carriers and the heavy cruisers and one at least, or two of the light cruisers. They're over there. And then the battle wagons are down here. And the center on the map, that's where the Dauphin is. So quite far behind. Of course, we can't uh, control them at all. Or these, or those. I'm not entirely sure that the carriers are in advance of the battleships as we head into the Kagarat and Skagarat. I always forget which way around that is. Okay, so Skagarat, Skagarat. Um, yeah, so I wonder, obviously the Soviets are going to be coming out 
from the Skagrat. I, very much, I mean, it could be coming down the north of Norway, but I doubt it. So I have no choice at the moment in terms of my deployment. So let's just carry on and see what we see. Oh, yeah. And we have a, ra Oof. well, I didn't expect that. Uh, a radar contact right in the middle there. Um, okay. As usual, get overexcited and forget to um, ready my planes. Sorry about that, chaps. So I'll just do that now. So I've readied the aircraft carriers. Luckily, the, well, unluckily, actually, the wind is from the south. So they're going to have to head south, which is towards this kind of more dangerous area. I'll see if I can move them away. The battleships, obviously, I want to move up and engage these people. We're still in the dawn light, so we have no uh, clear view of who we're dealing with. Well, we're opening fire anyhow. Let's go to the north. I want to um, move these guys this direction whilst the carriers are heading in that direction to get in between the enemy there. Still nothing, obviously. Once uh, any kind of intelligence comes my way. Okay, so we've got a heavy cruiser of the Azov class, nine inch guns. It's not gonna trouble liberté and democracy. Um, their range is quite short, so I'm just going to push them out and no need to risk them unnecessarily in, um, let's turn them together on torpedoes. So Maxim Gorky and Azov, uh, and some destroyers. Well, that's, that's fair enough. Here come my planes. Now, if that's all they have, that's not going to be problematic for me. Let's bring the battleships south. The battleships, yep. And so that should be all of the aeroplanes. Now, only having two carriers, I'm slightly concerned that um, if I launch all of my strike aircraft against this lot, um, they may well retreat towards a support force. However, let's um, let all that's ready from the Chateau de Foy um, and oops, let's attack them around about there if that's the way they're going that's not far away at all 34 miles launch a strike um yes i do launch the strike even though their air defenses are relatively modest no need to create unnecessary uh damage So they're just outside their torpedo range. Let's move them in a bit. All this turning will have um, brought down the speed, yeah, 18 knots. So I'm going to have to let them run in a nice straight line for a few minutes to let that speed increase. Here comes the first part of the strike. Of course, as usual, I forgot to set the priority for the strike. Anyhow, so we are hitting somebody with 16 inch guns, which is always nice. Two aircraft 
damaged. So there's some more ships up there. All right. These seem increasingly safe, so I'll just bring them behind. Uh, this is probably, yeah, that's the Dauphin. Oh, if that could get in the action, that would be nice. So I suspect, now they only have two big gunships left, but that certainly could be them. We've hit a heavy cruiser, so excellent. And there's a heavy cruiser dead in the water. There's the other one up there. Okay, that's all fun. Ooh, there's a CV. Right, well, if that's the case, let's go to our other carrier. Select all that's ready. And you see how some of these carriers are um, wildly under strength in their uh, number of planes. You know, two torpedo bomber squadrons with only two planes left. Ouch. So let's do a location for that and go in with that lot and launch them too. Another heavy cruiser. I think I'd like to move past towards these carriers if I can get past these destroyers. Uh, annoyingly. And if I come round with these light cruisers, obviously there's some heavy cruisers there, so I don't want to overdo it. Now some planes are arriving. Oop, that they see this carrier and light carrier. And have a go at them. Because they're sort of becoming one force now. Actually, let's take this down. I'm going to have to watch all this lot because we are very, very close. 16,000 yards. Um, some of these destroyers, and of course these destroyers uh, uh, can't find info, info on them. Uh, so let's wheel around and being a bit indecisive with the light cruisers. Whereas these guys, I pretty much know where I want to go which is towards them. Let's check out where the carriers are, that's fine. And that's where Dauphin is. Come on, it's tootling along at 18 knots. Very, very content, very happy. No big stress. Uh, again, I've got these 10,000 yards, not, not happy to be so close. Yeah, eight tor torpedo tubes. I uh, don't want to get too close to that. 1932, so quite old, 20 year old destroyers, but still. I'm just going to take the battleships slightly away, open up the range. They're still coming towards. It would be great, actually, if I took these and took them off screening and took them into support line ahead and sent them off to, um, I don't know, just encourage some of these destroyers to be a bit more respectful. The aircraft coming in. More oh, some aircraft approaching me. 
So we've uh, had some SAM launches, well done SAMs. And they are engaging here against the heavy cruiser. Some torpedoes in the water against the um, Russian destroyers. More aircraft coming in. Going to straighten out my destroyers. More SAMs being launched. How far are we? We are still only 11,000 yards from these destroyers. So really not keen on that. I'm going to bring the light cruisers around. I assume that they still have... Yeah, they've got uh, torpedoes. Uh, just want to keep that all honest. Uh, lots of hits going on. Some glide bombing by Chateau de Joy. So I'm going to bring the battleships around now. And I'm going to go to quad max, 28 knots. I know that impacts the gunnery, but I would love them to come around and over the top. Uh, and in, ideally, uh, get in the way of this force. So there's some more there. So... I would like these to come around there, join up with my heavy cruisers. Obviously, there's concentration there. I would like to push them towards the uh, Dauphin and obviously keep my carriers out of the way and stop the whole thing getting too scrappy. I'm going to put my destroyers back like that. They've still... I've got most of their torpedoes, so. We've got enemy glide bombing a destroyer. We've got SAMs being launched and uh, destroying two aircraft, as well as uh, heavy anti-air doing their bits. So a lot of um, air losses. I'm going to just go and black flag. I don't, still don't know if that has any real impact. So Admiral Crass is uh, taking a bit of a pounding from some medium hits. Ouch. So that seems like an opportunity to, um, yeah. To leave the area. I don't want to lose them unnecessarily and turn together as well. And send them down in that direction. Just going to send the carriers north a bit. I don't want them to get too far away. Here's our strike going in, and a bit more. Much of nothing. Leningrad, hit by a torpedo, and the Maxim Gorky. And the Leningrad, and the Leningrad. Well, okay. I retract my much of nothing. That was clearly not true. I'm going to take those ships out in that direction. 
No need for them to suffer unnecessarily. Okay, I'm going to bring the battleships south. My idea of going over the top is probably a bit ambitious. Uh, oh, okay, there's the Leningrad. Hmm, I say that, but actually that might be the better target. I mean, obviously Novosibirsk is here as well, two of them. Okay, let's keep on going in that direction. Mm -mm. Only 50% of ammo. Let's see where the carriers are and check on strike forces. So I'm just going to set the filter to three. So the Delphi has been attacked by air. Three fighters going in there. Um, two destroyed by the SAMs and two damaged by the heavy anti-aircraft. Hang on, that's four. Okay, so the Delphi has destroyed two and damaged two out of three attacking aircraft. Well, never mind. All working well. Um, the Leningrad and the one is doing well. I'm going to set the target to... Don't want to do the Maxim Gorky. So the Leningrad at 14,000 seems like a, a good shot. That on. Okay, so the Leningrad is dead in the water, so no point going for that. So let's chase down these two carriers here. Let's zoom out and try and see where the Dauphin is. It seems to be down there. Speed of uh, 24, so, you know. Trying a little bit. I'm just going to get rid of some of these old reports because, you know, really, they're not really necessary. So we can see where everything is pretty well. And just check the carriers. Yep. Carriers are fine. Let me prepare. Okay, there's nothing there. Yep. Nothing to prepare on the carriers, so actually they could um, just go south a bit. Keep them out of trouble. Okay. This plane's ready to strike. Now we'll go back to shooting at the carrier. No point attacking the Leningrad. And let's go for our strikes and select all. Let's target around about, oops, let's go location around about there. RT CVs, thank you very much. Launch. And for the other one, it all looks ready and the same. Launch. Exit. Couple of destroyers comprehensively bracketing, but seemingly need to miss that heavy cruiser. Um, yeah, more hits on the Leningrad. Now, interestingly, I think this is where the Russian lack of battleships and battlecruisers is really punishing them and uh, really struggling. The heavy cruisers aren't cutting the mustard in terms of anti-surface defence. Fine adding to air defence, but not when ships like Democracy and Liberty uh, come up and start bashing around their ears. Yep. So let's go slightly to that side because they just seem to be aimlessly turning, which is nice. Interesting, the destroyers have famous last words, obviously, but the destroyers have done nothing really to protect. I'm going to take the 
uh, destroyers off and just send them down there to discourage them from trying to um, get into any kind of torpedo launching conditions. And I'm going to make them go head on. Oops, made a ship blow up there. Uh, nine four-inch guns, boom. Ooh, ouch. Okay, so that seems like time to um, take more care. Let's take that down to 20. Actually, let's, let's see what the damage is like. So flooding 135. So we just need to get that under control through the usual mechanism. So yeah, if you go within 6,000 yards of destroyers, um, you may well take a bit of punishment. So let's turn them around. Is that really a Corvette? No. So I'm intending to bring the battleships around and extract them that way, extract the light cruisers that way, allow our friends, the Dauphin, to come up and support any withdrawal. I suspect that um, we have beaten them again. I would imagine that Leningrad is not long for this world. I'm going to put these back under AI control. And get them to come back. Oh dear. Where was that from? That was a long way out. Um, yep. Very much not seeing 148. Not seeing any um, particular need. For that There's nothing near the Leningrad. I'm going to steer towards the Leningrad and I'm going to go down to Maybe even 10 knots. Uh, okay. Just to give it time to um, get its flooding under control. Just checking what they think they're doing. Let's see how that's doing. Flooding 18. Hey, excellent. Um, maximum speed 21 knots. Surprised to see the Leningrad is um, so survivable when it's taking a large number of hits. Firing at the carrier now, I approve of that. More hits. More 16 inch hits against the Leningrad. No, no, don't, don't, no, guys, 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 guys. That's, that's not helpful. There we go. Ooh. That's a bit far away, isn't it? How about the other one? There we go, 14,500. That's a perfectly nice target. Really, there we go. Have a grizzly hit by a torpedo and another. So with that carrier effectively destroyed and one or two of these out of action, that would be fine. We're still hitting it with four inch guns. It's like some sort of target practice. Let's just check. Flooding still at 18. Just wonder where the Dauphin is. 
Hmm. So I'm going to bring the light cruisers down towards the carriers. And there is the Dauphin. Okay. Well, I should keep it amused. I have no control over it. Um, so another torpedo hit, which is nice. I'm going to take this up to cruise speed because we're still flooding at 18. And that one's gone still. So, where's the other one? Is that one? No, it's a heavy cruiser. Might be, though, this radar contact might be the other one. So let's head south. Lots of destroyers being loosed off to already crippled ships. So Leningrad has sunk. Just go have a little look at the carriers, see what they've got available. So torpedo bombers, dive bomber, escort. Uh, let's ready them. I think we can increase the dive bomber up to heavy. Only nine torpedoes remaining. Oh well. You can't uh, argue against that. And ready that lot too. Let's get rid of some of these reports. Just check, flooding down to nine, so that's good. Another crippled ship hits. There's the Dauphin down here. Mix it up, a terrifyingly short range. Another Maxim Gorky torpedo hits. Just interested to know where that second carrier is gone. Let's you know, might even do a little search. No. It's from the wrong. Maybe if I can do it from here. No, the search goes from the fleet flagship, somewhat unhelpfully. These should go down to cruise. And let's just advance all of this on a bit. Nice to have the Dauphin adding its 17-inch uh, guns. I seem to remember, you know, carriers being a lot more fragile than um, than this. Perhaps these Russian ones are armoured or something. So. Just wondering if that torpedo is going to hit. Looks like it. Boom. Just in case you thought. Well, the Dauphin is coming down with us and we're just going to head towards this mystery ship. 
I mean, if that was a carrier, that would be amazing. Uh, nine flooding. So I'm not going to increase the speed. It's just a destroyer. Hmm. Oh, well, never mind. Let's see if we have any reports. That's the last report of a CV. Okay, let's head out that way. And whilst we're at it, let's launch a strike in that direction. So let's just bring that down and go, yeah, let's, let's go for sort of here and select ready and launch. Select ready, select all that's ready and launch. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to run down destroyers. So let's just advance this five minutes at a time. Hmm. I might just want to detach Liberty. Detach. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's bring the speed down to 10. Make it go boom. Bring the carriers a bit further north. Change this to support and probably if I can see Libertaria there, that would be a good thing. This allows us to increase democracy up to 26 knots and go after this last reported ship and see if we can find anything. Obviously, Dauphin is over there doing its its thing. I'll probably take the black flag off. So Charles uh, a but no, uh, it's a Charles Le class. So it's the Dauphin. Uh, enemy cap. There's the light cruisers coming to escort Liberty. Here comes the strike planes. See if we can catch anything. Just advancing five minutes ago. No. I think we may have missed it. CV. Oh, is now down there. Okay. Uh, CV and three destroyers. Okay, let's go that way then. And take the um, liberty off towards. Denmark, do I have any more strike aircraft? That would be no. So let's go down this way. Need to run out of fuel. I think it should be fine. know where uh, Dauphin is going to go. Seems to be stationary. Okay. 
and we pick up anything around here. Nope. That was the latest report, so could be all the way out there. So we've got some land place planes from Cherbourg getting some destroyer hits. And I like cruiser hits. I don't even know where the, uh, oops. These go north a bit. Okay, let's just run this out. Bit of bad weather limiting air operations. Let's bring this down to 20 knots. Here comes the carriers. Bring that down to 20. Liberté still tootling along at 10. Let me just check its damage control. So its flooding is at zero. I'll take that to mean that we can bring it up to cruise speed and send everybody home. And there we go. And a bonus enemy destroyer. Right. Let's have a little look at this. So two CVs sunk. One damaged, five heavy cruisers, sunk, five destroyers, various states of damage. We've got one battleship heavily damaged, uh, otherwise no losses. We lost 42 planes, two to anti-air, five to air-to-air uh, -air losses, and the remainder operational. They lost 143 planes. 40 to anti-air, um, go SAMs. I think the SAMs have been a very, very successful investment. I put a lot of effort into SAM destroyers and into converting all the ships that have SAMs in them, taking off turrets as necessary, and I think that's worked very well. Only five to air-to-air -air losses would indicate that they never found uh, the carrier, uh, and... Well, that's our air to air losses then. Mm, okay. Um, and 46 lost on ships that were sunk. So let's just look at the um, tracks. Ah, okay. So that's where the last one went. If that can. Yeah, there you go. So sneaked out. Uh, when we weren't noticing it, whilst presumably uh, Dauphin, there's the Dauphin, and all the way up there. Oh well, mustn't crumble. I mean, I was still. Let's just do that so you can see it all. Yeah, so Dauphin up here, the carrier escaping, us moving to the south. But, you know, literally cannot grumble. That was, again, an excellent effort from everyone involved. Two more prestige and 13,000 more. Shotland Bank. Okay, so uh, Dukan is in yard with engine trouble. And of course, our um, Liberty is uh, got a lot of uh, torpedo damage. The enemy sounded out about a negotiated peace with us gaining disputed border areas and some of their colonies. Okay, that sounds good. So uh, let's go with that. 
Obviously, this could be the end of the war. It is. Uh, considerable reparations. And... Ah. They're offering Finland, but we only have four points. So, no, we won't have that. That's a shame. But, you know. What the heck. Um, a short, sharp, vicious, nasty war with some very agreeable battles, one or two indecisive ones, but of course that big, big one. And for me, the opportunity to prove that the first generation of SAMs really are pretty effective, as well as lifting up the whole of the anti-aircraft defenses in the mid-1950s. Bye for now.